Onto your left is my VF tuned Audi RS7, and onto your right is my Audi Huracan. I just said Audi Huracan. And onto your right is my Lamborghini Huracan 610-4. Now before I begin, the Lamborghini Huracan is bone stock. It's just an exhaust which probably adds like 10 horsepower, but that's really it. This car, however, has a full Miltec race exhaust with a VF Engineering Stage 2 tune on it. The amount of horsepower this car makes after that tune is just mental. It moves tectonic plates. I went to VF Engineering last week to get this car tuned. Check it out. So hill. This thing though, it's crazy. Oh my god. Dude, the big old car and Viper. Quick thoughts on the Viper. Interesting feeling clutched. First gear goes like all the way to 70 miles an hour. It only revs to 6,000, which is kind of weird. It's my first time driving a Viper off camera. I drove it a little bit. It's like, it feels faster than like everything that I've ever driven before. But anyways, I'm at VF Engineering right now. Audi RS7 behind me. They actually tuned this car while I was away in New York and it's done tuning. It apparently crackles like crazy. They increased the red line by a couple hundred RPM and it makes a lot more power now. So I'm really excited about it. Those police lights are hilarious. So this grouping of lines right here is the torque. That is a horsepower. The blue line is when the car was stock. If you see the torque curve right here, it's really, really flat. The red line is the torque curve for the stage two ECU tune on 91 octane. Remember, I have downpipes on that car, so stage two is what's necessary. If you see how much torque you make after the 100 octane tune, it's pretty insane. This is all the horsepower gains, so you can see that huge gap right there between stock and 100 octane tune. Run three is when the car was stock. Run one is 91 octane on stage two, and then run two is 100 octane on stage two. And after I picked up my car from VF Engineering, I drove it back home, and it was a time to get a good night's sleep for Shift Sector. Shift Sector, by the way, is a half mile drag racing event held at Coaligna Airport in Coaligna. So they shut down a whole entire airport so that anyone can come and race their car on a half mile dragway. The two cars that I brought were probably the slowest and the least amount of horsepower of cars out of all the cars here. People bring their 2,000 horsepower GTRs, twin turbo Huracans. I brought my Audi RS7 and Huracan anyways and expected my ass to be blown to kingdom come. Six in the morning, got Matt Subi right here piloting the RS7. I'm gonna take the Huracan over. We have a three hour drive to Kolingna. We have two hours until it starts. Let's do it. Yo guys, there is a fire on the side of the freeway. Holy shit. Fun fact, this car does not have launch control. It's not a double clutch or a single clutch. This is just a good old eight speed auto. But am I really that butthurt about not having launch control on this car? Absolutely not. The launch on this car, when I do it right, is just like, it's it breaks your neck. You can almost feel the front of the car coming off the ground. I mean, not as good as the Dodge Demon, but still. We are inside the car, actually. What kind of acceleration is that? She wasn't ready.
first run of the day ended up being at 146.3. That's with the windows all the way down and the AC blasting and him in the car. So you can see that I pretty much get the jump on every start, but the more aerodynamic Audi R8 V10 Plus starts to catch up after the quarter mile mark and plays catch up through the rest of the way, all the way to the finish line. Half the time the car would catch up and beat me and half the time I'd get my shifts down perfectly and, and the R8 would run out of speed. Some rough specs on this car by the way. This car weighs about 4,500 pounds wet and the R8 weighs 1,000 pounds less at about 3,500 pounds wet. On the six or seven passes that I made on 91 octane gas, I was doing about 150 or 151 consistently. 150 miles an hour for a two-ton five-seater hatchback is pretty damn fast. 150 miles an hour is well into the supercar territory. Towards the end of the day, one of our buddies, Tom, had a little bit of 109 octane gas left over for us to use and about two gallons or something like that. So I flushed the fuel out on this car and put 109 octane gas and I was able to make one pass until the fuel ran out. This thing stinks like it's not hell. What was this, 109? Oh no. And we are good. Hmm. The trap speed was 155 miles an hour, identical to an Audi R8 V10 Plus. If you're curious, also towards the end of the day, I made a few passes with the Huracan and it was doing 159, 158 consistently. <laughs> So the fact that this car is only three miles an hour slower than this car kind of blew my mind. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you guys in New York City.